Hey everybody, Derek here. This is another episode of Fun with Linux. I haven't done an episode of this show in a while, so I thought let's do something different and let's talk about some hardware. So, around the end of the year, I got this laptop. Now, as you can see, I've got an SD card slot right here, and uh, there's a headphone jack, it's a combo port, there's a USB 3, there's a HDMI port, and if you flip it on the other side, there's two other USB 2 ports. So this is a budget laptop. This is the HP Stream, and what I use with it, I just use this TechNet uh, USB mouse, wireless mouse. It's not Bluetooth because, I don't know if you guys know this, but Bluetooth on Linux is terrible. And I got it from my friend in a trade. Now, if I turn this on, which I'll do later, there's a little bit of a mess up on the screen so I got this for pretty cheap. But let me just set this down and talk about it for a while. All right, so I thought I would sit down to the camera and just talk a little bit about why I got this laptop before we get back to the table and we go over the hardware. So basically, I got this laptop in a trade. I gave my friend my old 750 Ti and he gave me this laptop. Now, I'm extremely not picky when it comes to laptops. Like if you look at the HP here, it is a, 13 inch laptop. It's Intel only and it's only got a 32 gigabyte eMMC uh, SD chip. Now if you guys know anything about me I try to be frugal. I try to make sure that I don't spend a whole bunch of money and when it comes to laptops I do not agree with the idea of something like a, a desktop replacement. I generally believe that laptops should be lightweight and easy to use and just work so that I can do what I want to do on them. I don't want to game on them, I want to get work done and I want to be able to, at the very least, watch Netflix and YouTube in 1080p and not have any problems. So this laptop is perfect for me and it's an HP stream. So if you guys are looking for a good laptop that runs Linux, get the HP stream. Though I will say that one thing I had to do is I had to tear this apart and I had to take out the Broadcom wireless chip because the Broadcom wireless chip, it was terrible. It, it was on and off with Linux. So this isn't gonna be a review of the Linux distribution on it right now. I have Arch on it right now. I have some plans to use this as a distro review laptop. So let's, let's look at the boot time. Now I was gonna time this, but the reason that the boot time might be a little slow uh, for some people, if you choose to get the HP Stream 13, is if you if you go my route and you use a SD card, it's gonna slow it down. Because if you watch, I don't know if I can zoom in on this, but it'll have a start job for the home folder and it'll be mounting the home folder. So as soon as I boot into Grub, it goes pretty fast. And uh, I'll set this down for now. The boot, the boot will go through and it'll be like, okay, well let's go and let's load the OS. And then it'll say there's a start job right up here and as you can see here it is right now this cuts the boot time down really low because it's trying to mount the SD card for home because the home is a separate device again right there so it's not that the operating system or the hardware is slow it's just it needs to recall that card it always does but it has a one minute 30 second kill for boot time Mate on here I've got the new brisk menu that they've been working on, the Souls team has been working on. Arch Linux as usual. And uh, overall it's pretty good hardware. It runs fast, it can play 1080p video. Key binding doesn't work for this menu. Overall, I'm very happy with it. So yeah, the boot time really isn't a big deal to me. The hardware limitations, like the SD, you know, having to use an SD card for any expandable storage. If you don't go my route and put the, uh, the data from your home folder onto another disk and you know do some ghetto looking thing that's fine it's still a great laptop even if you just want to take advantage of the 32 gigabytes of storage and just use cloud storage like dropbox and selectively sync it or or use a flash drive it's got plenty of usb ports and uh for a nice little linux laptop that you're not doing much on it's great i do know that these are not being made anymore but the reason i'm bringing this up is because i often talk about chromebooks I made a video about taking and tearing apart a Chromebook 
and installing an SSD in it and doing all that stuff. Honestly, if you guys have saw that video and you're thinking, what do I do? I want to get a good cheap Linux laptop. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money because I already got a desktop, you know, like I do. I don't, I spend most of my money on my desktop. I don't really need to buy a gaming laptop. I just want something I can take places, run Linux on and do my work on. Go to Amazon, look for the HP Stream 13 if you'd like this size. Additionally, there is the HP Stream 11, which is a little bit cheaper, a little bit smaller, an 11 inch screen, 11.5 I believe, instead of the 13.5 or 13.3 screen on mine. Again, kind of a review, more of like an explanation of like, let's check this laptop out and see what it's got to offer. This is going to be, the reason I'm showing this off guys is because this is what I will be reviewing all of my mobile distros on. I'm gonna be making more videos February. We're putting this channel into full gear. I'm thinking at least one video a week, maybe two. Maybe even two Fun With Linux regular series episodes a week and a vlog, we will see. But I hope you enjoyed this disjointed exploration of this laptop. Just a brief explanation, like I said, and I will see you next time.